In this video, I'll show you how the dependent drop down list add in works. Here I have a data set. Click on a cell here and convert the data set to a, an Excel defined table. Press and hold Ctrl and then press T and release. And my data set has headers. So click on this one and then click OK. And now it is an Excel defined table. The next thing you do is to once again click on a cell in this table and then go to add in, tab add ins on the ribbon and click on the dependent drop down list button here. And this user form appears and it shows you that you have selected cell B8 in this Excel defined table so now it knows that you want to do dependent drop down lists using the data in table 1 and here you can select the columns you want to use and I'm going to use all of them so I click on add all and down here, where do I want them? And I want them here. And then I press enter. And now I can click the next button. And you can now see that there are dependent drop down lists down here. And I'll show you in a minute how they work. First, copy this code here and then go to tab developer and click on the visual basic button right click on your workbook and then insert and module and now there is a module in your workbook and then paste the code here And now you can use the drop down, dependent drop down lists here. The first drop down list contains values from this column here, and they are unique, distinct values. And I'm going to pick South America here. And the second dependent drop down list has values that has South America here on this row here and here. So it should show Brazil and Colombia. And it does. And now I chose Colombia, so it should show Bogota. Yes. And the second drop down list here allows you to pick another value so they work independently and if you change the value here to a blank the next dependent drop down list also becomes blank and the value you have selected is copied to the cell below and you can easily remove all objects on a worksheet press F5 and then go to special click on special button and here click on objects and this will delete all objects select all objects and then you can press delete to delete them gone